right, what's up? What's up, what's up? Yeah. Oh, man. What's up, everybody? So, here we are, back on the How to Airbrush streams. And uh, decided to start off with something simple, something we, we can build up easily from right here. And then, depending on your skill level, you can actually take it kind of far, which is kind of what we're going to do today. We're going we're gonna to take it all the way. Um, but we're going to start with something basic. So even if you're starting out and you're like kind of new to airbrushing, you can still achieve a really nice look, um, you know, fairly easily without having to work too much at it. You just have to know what to do. And that's what we're going to do today. So, yeah, it, we don't have a pre-image or anything like that because everything we're going to need for this, we're going to make it right here, right now because it's, it's simple, simple stuff. A lot of it is freehand, but you don't even have to be that good at freehand to make it look good. Trust. So, get, take a look at the chat. What's up, David? How's it going? Hell yeah. I, yep, yep. We're back at home, which means the live stream's coming good. Um, and we're starting the How to Airbrush live streams now. So, this month, we're going to keep it How to Airbrush. And then, probably in January... I'm gonna switch back off to another project that I want to do, and um, you know, hopefully we could turn that into something else. Um, kind of thinking, maybe some cups, maybe some official Skull Squad cups. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking. I'm kind of planning. Um, but yeah, that'll be in January uh, after the shirt ship and all that good jazz. Cause yeah, I. Um, oh yeah, if you guys are not aware, uh, the shirts, the Skull Squad shirts are up right now. You can place your orders. Orders have already been rolling in, which it's just, yeah, you guys are always overwhelming. I didn't think it was going to be that, you know, amazing, but obviously you guys really liked it. You guys want it. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys again for all the support on that. Uh, make sure you go and check them out. Skull Squat, you know, go to Mike's Brush. And if you look through the airbrush stencils listing, the shirts in there, um, you get to choose your size and it's five bucks for shipping. And then two dollars for each additional shirt because I'm pretty sure it's gonna cost me more. Uh, what's up, Tech Grind? What's up, Stephen Ward? What's up, Cheap? What's up, Red Dog? What's up, William Klein? What's up, Gael Lucas? Uh, cups would be off the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, you're only gonna be Skull Squad official if you're wearing the shirt, the cup, and then after that, we might do a hat. You know, and and yeah. By then, hopefully, we can come up with a shoe collab. Like, maybe there's somebody out there that makes shoes or, like, something like, um, you know, I know there's some, some shoe customizers out there, and maybe we could come up with some Skull Squad exclusives or something like that. I don't know. Not, not <laughs> that's, like, way down the line at the end of next year or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep it in mind. I just think, like, a whole Skull Squad outfit would be pretty dope. Anyway, guys. Take a sip of my monster, and I'm gonna run you guys through the colors we're gonna be using today. We're gonna be using the Wicked Opaques, um, cause it's gonna just make it easier to lay the colors one over the other. You don't have to worry so much about getting bleed between the colors if they're not transparent. They're gonna go real nice. So we're gonna be using a Dioxazine Purple, and this is Createx Wicked 0088, uh, which is called Wicked Opaque Dioxazine Purple. So the first color we'll be using, and then we're going to be using 0081 Wicked Opaque Bismuth Vanadate Yellow. Um, this is a nice yellow. It's it's not too, too like, you know, um, it's kind of more on the yellow side. It doesn't have no kind of orange tint. It's not bright or nothing like that. Like, uh, it doesn't have any kind of fluorescent kind of going on. Um, the next color we're going to be using is 0082 Wicked Opaque Pyrrole Orange. Um, so this is a nice orange. I really like this orange for a lot of stuff using fire and all that. So yeah This is a nice color. Then we're gonna be using the Wicked Opaque Daylight Blue 0087 Wicked Opaque Daylight Blue um, And this is just one of the most awesome colors you, you, This color right here on a lot of stuff is just awesome for a lot of projects You could do a whole painting with just this color Just reduce your paint and then just do it all in this and it would look dope This is one of the like really nice colors and the last but not least, the color we're gonna be using is 0086 Wicked Opaque Thalo Blue. Wicked Opaque Thalo Blue. 0086 uh, is the number on this, so if you wanna get yourself some of this. This is also obviously like the, the standard color 
the opaque talo blue yep yep this is part of the opaque colors you know um so yeah we're gonna be using on this we might use a little bit of white and a little bit of black so just opaque white opaque black um but these are mainly the colors i'm gonna be using today so if you want to try this exercise at home you totally can all right so we're gonna start off with some yellow today let me take my airbrush Put that reducer out. Oh, I almost forgot to mention we're going to be using Wicked or the Createx 4011 reducer. 4011, as it's known on the streets. Um, we're going to be using some of this. We're going to be reducing the paints just a tad. You don't have to really reduce them if you don't want to. You can just run a little bit of extra air pressure. Keep that air pressure about 35. You should be able to spray right out of the bottle as long as your bottle is the right consistency. If you have any other problems, Mix in some 4011, start off with 5 to 10 percent, shake it up real good or stir it up real good, whatever you like, and uh, yeah, you should get a really good consistency and easy to spray. Um. <laughs> What's up, Paul Tarchala? Yeah, yes, Stevie Ward, it's the OPAC. You need a Skull Squad easel. Ooh, ooh, you're getting fancy, boy. A bandana? Mmm, a bandana would be dope. Not gonna lie. Um. Yeah, I'm down for a bandana. I was thinking a mask at first, but now I kind of feel like I don't want to encourage any more of this madness um, with the virus, man. Uh, I'm so ready for it to be done. Uh, so you, you guys all have your, yeah, it's just, it's been a wild ride. I'm glad we're here. I'm glad where we are. We're, we are for sure, but jeez, jeez. Shaking, not stir it, eh? Yeah, yeah. Either way works. I like shaking. A lot of people like to stir their stuff and let it sit for a minute. That's always good. So I'm going to start with the Banadate yellow here. <laughs> Damn, dude, are you full of sugar? Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to keep the energy high. I'm trying to keep it pumping, keep it moving today. Um, so that, you know, you keep the right energy for this this sunset. This is not a boring sunset where you didn't do nothing all day, you're just at the beach. No, this is that sunset you have after you've had a really long day and you had like a really nice cruise on the beach and your nice hot rod, go and have dinner, you met some amazing woman and now you're just sitting there having a nice drink, watching the sun go down while everything's going good. This is one of those sunsets so make sure you keep your energy in the right place. <laughs> uh, I need some Skull Squad swag, yeah, yeah, I could send you some stuff. Holy shit, it's Bill, yeah, yeah, what's up, Bill? W. Leon Kennedy, or Artistry. <laughs> I forget the name every time. Um, so we're just gonna start off with some yellow. Right? And now, I want you to pick the area where you're gonna want your sun. All right, like I said, we don't really have a preset design or anything here. It's gonna be pretty simple, but wherever you want your sun, we're gonna make a really nice dot. Just right, I want mine right kind of in the middle, right? So I'm just yellow dot, boom. Then I'm gonna kind of extend it a little bit because we want that we want that yellow sky to kind of go around, right? So just extend it around, make a nice big circle. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. This has to be yellow, bam, right? So then we're gonna do something that's not gonna make much sense right now, but it'll make sense later on. We're just gonna paint a line coming down the middle, not not like thick line, but maybe just a, a blended in line, a soft line going both ways, right? So you want like full yellow coverage in the middle and then it can just blend off on the sides, kind of fade out, right? Simple. Make sure you get your yellow in there good. Maybe you have to give it a couple passes. Boom, no problem. Simple cakes. Being in a room with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Master Yoda. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> your wife's here. <laughs> Oh, man. 
stickers and tea soon. Yeah, yeah. So I usually, whenever I'm gonna make, or like I want like something Mike's brush for myself, I'll just like paint myself a shirt. Like I have a bunch of shirts um, that were just like Mike's brush shirts. They all kind of end up in the RIP section of my uh, closet though, because um, they usually end up getting stained because I'll be wearing them while I work. So yeah, so most of the time they end up in the RIP section, never to be worn again. There's a big stain of green going across it or something, you know, but I usually just paint something for myself. Like I have one that I really like, which is the Aztec, um, like skeleton holding that, that, that macaja, ma, the, the big old macaja, you know, the big old, it's like the Aztec warrior weapon or whatever. I really like that shirt, but it has a huge ass stain on it. And then it, I even, I even tried to wear it with the stain and then it got another stain. And yeah, now it's in the RIP section. Most of my clothes ends up with a stain, and once it has a stain, I'm kind of like, ah, ah. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, all right? We're gonna take something around. Like, I have these. You can use, like, a, a small Createx bottle. will work, too. You just want something nice and round, and you're just gonna, you can either use the round thing, right? Or you can cut out a paper cutout, because we, we are gonna cut some paper in a second, but all you need is a round circle we're not gonna need it for very long and we're just gonna need to paste it right there I'm just letting you know that that's coming so if you want to go ahead and start cutting that out or finding yourself something we're gonna do a couple things before we continue on we're letting this yellow get nice and dry before we start putting anything on it so next we're gonna take some tape so, some good old tape and we're gonna lay it across now you could decide, right, where you want your uh, sun to be, because this is our sun. Um, so I, you could decide if you want your sun to be cut off by the water line, or if you want it to be above, you want it to almost just be peeking out. It's all on you, right, where you want to take your painting. I just, I'm going to decide to do it like, like three quarters of the way up off the water. So the sun is setting. We're watching it set. Now, pro tip right here. If you're gonna do a masking tape like this, right now you can choose to, t to paper this off at the bottom, right? Now what I'm gonna do is, because I'm lazy and I don't wanna just go over there and get some paper, um, I'm just gonna fold up the edge here of the tape. All right, so just so it creates this nice little dam. You see this little ramp? That'll direct our overspray away from the canvas and in this particular case, a little bit of overspray won't even matter too, too much because we're just going to end up covering up, right? So that's where we're going to do our water. This is going to be our water line. And I chose blue tape so that, you know, you kind of understand that this is going to be blue going down this way, right? So <sighs> I'm looking at some, uh, all right. What's up, Jesus? You left a stain on your wife's shirt before. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Cut your son off. I tried. He keeps borrowing cash. What? <laughs> what did I miss? Um, but yeah, that's that's where we're gonna be at. So talking about the color now, we're gonna take that same yellow, right? And we just want to create a more orangey yellow. So all we're gonna do is, you know, obviously you mix them up, right? You have a little bit left over. We didn't mix up a whole lot, so you don't need a whole lot, but all we're gonna do is add in just a little bit of the orange into the yellow, just a little bit. You don't wanna add so much that it's gonna overtake the yellow. Just a few drops, maybe a little squirt, depending on how much you mixed up. Just add a little bit. Aim higher, dude. What? No, not your, not your. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay, that one, that one was a little over. That was, yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a true story though. Right, so all I did is mix it up. I'll show you on this. I got kind of an orange color in there. 
It's like a really bright yellowy orange though. All we're gonna do is you're gonna place your circle, right? Wherever you wanted it over the, on, you know, wherever you picked. And all I'm gonna do is just a really light, really light. I'm gonna emphasize it, really light. Just slightly light shade all the way around. Really light, you see how light that is? Then we're gonna bleed that off, going side to side. And you're gonna get this orangey haze around the yellow. Totally good. Right, and just build it up, and it's better to build it up lightly like the way I'm doing, and if it kinda looks a little blotchy like this, that's kinda exactly what you want. Right, then when, when you're done doing the little haze, you can remove this guy, and there's your sun. It's not completely done, right? but that, there's your sun, and then we're going to start building up some clouds going around. So all I want to do is using the same orange, and so I'm just going to take in, and just, you could either look up a picture, right, of so, like an ocean sunset, or if you've ever been, seen clouds in the sunset, Paint the shape of the clouds using your airbrush. It doesn't have to be super detailed, nothing like that. And uh, sometimes more stylized is better. So it's all on you. And this is kind of where, where I like to see people's variations because everybody has their own flavor of what clouds look like or what they like clouds to look like. And sometimes they look really good. Like then you'll paint them in a way that I never thought of, right? And and it's always nice to see people's difference. So I can't tell you what clouds look like. If you want to look at reference photos, you can go ahead. As you can see, it's just a blotchy, just nah, that way. Go ahead and come in, in the same this way, right? See, it's just a squiggly line. And I'm gonna build up the other side of it. Boom. And doing it one-handed, you see I'm not even Usually I keep my hand on for stability. Not, no stability today. We want that uh, to just kind of... Uh. Right? Let me move out the little straggler clouds down here. ordered your shirt right nice nice thank you sir thank you <laughs> what's up Gomez how's it going um, <laughs> they're always entertaining and funny yeah for sure uh, I got spray and wash it's all good oh okay yeah yeah <laughs> write us some stories <laughs> what's up James how's it going cool so now all we're gonna do is take that orange we got in there all right that little orange this is this is gonna be slightly controversial but we're gonna mix in some purple we're gonna make a little bit of brown just a tad bit right we got that orangey yellow there just a tad bit of purple just a couple drops. This is gonna give you a brown, right? Shake that up. I told her, I told y'all about the FPS lube. Oh my gosh, bro, the FPS lube. <laughs> so shake that up. I'm gonna test it next to our previous thing there. Bam, look at that, it's a brown, right? Now we're gonna use this brown only on the, the outer edges of these clouds. So we're gonna kind of bring in the outer shadow of the clouds, just like this, no, nothing too crazy. And again, if it's a little bit random, it's quite okay. Uh, 
Now this brown might be noticeable right now, but by the time we're done, this is just gonna be blended in. It's gonna look really good. It all makes sense. Damn. And I like working with colors to get you guys kind of used to and building up and blending in the colors to get different results. So here, we're done with this, we're done with that. We're gonna move on to a whole different color, so we're gonna empty this out. Empty it out, we'll rinse it out real quick. Scary noises give me a brown. <laughs> uh, what's up, Darren Jones? Love your work, man, and you're a good teacher. I, I try, I try. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard to, <laughs> it's hard to stay on track with this chat, but I'm trying my best. All right, so. Gonna put a little bit of reducer in here, and we're gonna switch off to the daylight blue. We're just gonna mix up just a tad bit. Bam. Put the lid. Clean off that lid. Shake it up. If she was gonna kill me for what I say, I'd be dead along. <laughs> Besides, you're not insured. Oh, she's thought about it. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right. So we got our daylight blue stirred up. It's spraying good. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here on the sides. I'm just gonna start blending that in to the orange. Just side to side, small little strokes. Nothing too crazy. I'm just getting in between these little clouds here. You don't have to worry about it. If it goes over sprayed a little bit, it's totally fine. Don't freak out. We're gonna build it up and we're gonna make it look really awesome. And now those little variations in color, it's gonna really make it pop, so. All we're doing is just building it up. Now, I used to do so many of these working down in Houston. And it just seems that this is like a popular thing anywhere there's a coast. Get it right in between these clouds. Look at that. There you go. There you go, governor. Maybe that's why he quit taking me to the range. <laughs> uh, got them big bottles of opaques. Yeah, yes, sir. The other guys out there look my school teachers and talk like good for before's bed. So boring. Uh, but yeah, this is the Eclipse I'm using right now. Um, we're going to be using the Eclipse for pretty much all this because I'm just going one color at a time. I'm showing you how to mix the colors in your cup. So you could get used to, you know, what, what colors is going to produce what. Um, so that's kind of why I'm mixing in the cup and showing you how to add a little bit of reducer, a little bit of paint to get those different colors. <clears throat> Alright, so we got the blue in there. The first blue. And then all we're going to do is, again, we have just a little bit of blue left in there. We're not mixing up a whole bunch. We're just going to add a little bit of the thalo blue. <clears throat> right? We're going to add just... A, like maybe just one, two drips. Not nothing too crazy. It's gonna tint the daylight blue 
somewhere in between a phthalo blue, depending on how much you got in there. It doesn't take much to change the color, um, so yeah. But all we're looking for is kind of more like a medium blue, maybe even more to match this tape here. Does that match the tape? It's pretty darn close. Look at that. <laughs> cool. So all I'm going to do is we're going to hit along the top side of these clouds. All right, start building up the, the top kind of shadow of your cloud. And you can bring it all the way down if you're nice and, and careful, right? Just like that. And by the top, I mean the area, obviously the sun's down here, the light's coming up. So this is the top, right? And the shadowy area will be on the top. So that's the reason we're doing it at the top because the light source, obviously the sun is on the bottom of it. Even though it's not really true, right? Because technically the sun's out in outer space and this is, the clouds are closer to you, but reality doesn't make any sense sometimes. So I don't make the rules. <laughs> Bam. And then maybe we'll use this blue just around the edges, just to deepen up that um, that daylight blue and really bring it in up to the edge. Damn. See, now already we got a really nice, cool looking sunset. If you're a beginner, you made it to this point, congratulations. You're doing pretty fine. You're doing good. Continue. Right. So that's pretty much it for that blue there. Now I'm gonna mix up some purple. All right. So we're gonna take just straight up purple, the dioxazine purple, right? Is that what it is? Yep. And we're just gonna mix up a little bit, add a little bit of reducer. Um, how often do you do these live feeds? Um, so, we, uh, I'm kind of, yeah. <laughs> I would like to say I have a schedule, but I don't have a schedule on these live feeds. I kind of just, every, you know, I try to keep them consistent, obviously. Um, during the month of December, we're going to do the how to airbrush live streams. Um, all through last month, we had the Skull Squad design, which the shirts are now available. Make sure you go and you place your uh, pre-orders. Uh, available now um, in that link in the chat available in the link in the chat go get your skull squad shirt um, I'm only available for a little bit of time but yeah we have that design we worked on all last month um, and then yeah all this month we're doing how to airbrush live streams then the month of January I'll probably go back to doing some other design just something that I want to paint and then yeah we're just gonna keep it kind of flowing just different stuff Cause yeah, that, if if you have if you're new to the channel, <laughs> I'm kind of I just uh, I just do what I want. That's just, that's just kind of uh, I just do what I want. <laughs> it's it's opaque, you know. So anyway, we're gonna take the purple. And you see this brown area? Now just well, all we're gonna do is try to edge it. Create a really dark edge for our clouds here and then if, if you want you can even add some little wispy some blends over here but we really want to just create a little definition and a little break between the daylight blue and that orange right and that brown you see how that brown almost looks red it's still the brown guaranteed we're gonna go do the same thing down here this is kind of more of an advanced ocean scene but still something that mo like just about anybody could accomplish if you have an airbrush and you just you, you you know if all you're doing is like little squiggles you can little squiggle your way to the end of this so 
getting yours in tomorrow. Right on, man. Yeah, just make sure you get it in before the deadline. Because, yeah, once the deadline is shut, I'm, I'm, it's literally shut. I'm not going to be able to take no more orders. Because as soon as it's shut, I'm going to start, you know, doing all the, all the putting it together. Um, so... Again, we're just bringing in that purple just around. See that? And this purple, right, is actually going to give us a really nice tone because we're going to come back, since we're using the opaques, we're going to come back with some yellow and we could add some, some yellow highlights on these clouds just straight yellow and it's really gonna pop against that purple there so you can bring those in and all around Bam. First airbrush, I use spray guns for wall art. So the same machine is perfect because I'm a total beginner. Yeah. So if 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 you feel like the live streams are coming too slow, and if you want a little more to chew on, um, you can also go back. Uh, just click on the Mike's brush name, like even there in the chat. I think it might work. If not just type in Mike's brush, how to airbrush, um, and then you'll get all the previous how to airbrush live streams will come up for you, and you'll be able to follow all those. Um, a lot of those come with a reference example and then uh, a stencil. So in this particular piece, like I said, we don't, we're don't we not really using too many stencils. It's kind of more of just showing you the colors and the blends and, and how to lay it down. <clears throat> um, but in, in the future videos, you, we will be using some stencils in order to achieve some cool effects um, that you can do at home. But if you're interested in, in seeing more of those, just go ahead and search it up or go back on the channel and you'll see I have a playlist too it's just nothing but the how to airbrush videos so good luck and I hope you enjoy man all right get a little creative with it with the purple just you know bring it in simple nothing too crazy all right we got a nice little sunset looking thing all right And then we're gonna do one thing at this point. So we're gonna take a sheet of paper. Let me get a sheet of paper out. Um, a sheet of paper and a blade, right? And now, again, this is a thing where you could get a reference image and uh, say like a reference image of a mountain silhouette right now I'm just gonna take and cut a, a squiggly line kind of going in, in a diagonal this way nothing too crazy watch I'll show you what I'm talking about I'm just gonna take it All right, so it's just a squiggly line Squiggle the blade back and forth. Bam. Right, and we're gonna use this to create some mountain sides to the side of our painting here. So you can lay that in. I'm just gonna hold it in place with my hand. You can use some tape or something if you if you need to use your other arm. And I'm just gonna fill that in with some purple. Now if if you're from an actual coast area, like, and you, you're trying to do it for yourself, one of the cool things you could do is go and look up a picture of, or go and take a picture if you live there, um, of the actual 
side there and um, you know then use that to trace out your image so you have a more personalized image and then instead of using that same cutout I'm gonna take the other side all right and we're gonna do the other side using that see that there Lay that in with the book. Damn. Bam, son, where'd you find this? What's up, Loey? What's up, Ron? Um, I have to say my Apple Midgets. Then order shirt right, right on, man. Your helper midget. Oh, no. <laughs> Watch most YouTube tutorials. Loved your portrait of the. You made her look better than the photo. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. And, um, I wish you the best of luck and, and yeah. So last thing, right? We, we're at this point. I'm just gonna take a little bit of yellow. We're gonna clean out our airbrush real quick. Clear out this purple. What's left of it? We're all done with the purple. Again, I'm going just color by color in case you just have one airbrush. You should be able to just follow along with me. So I'm just doing, just rinsing out my airbrush. Need some stories. <laughs> They're not... He's like, I just want to be in your life. Tell me more stuff. <laughs> All right, cleared out the purple. We're gonna get this yellow. And we're gonna try to reduce it zero. Just try to get a nice good spray. So unreduced. Right. Now obviously the center part here is still the brightest. Maybe you want to hit the bottom of these clouds here. And the good thing of working it with the opaques like this. Look at that. You can build up that yellow. Just anywhere you feel like the sun is hitting the cloud, just come in with some of that yellow. And it really helps with this effect if you keep it in kind of close. Keep your lines kind of thin. And just build up that yellow. Maybe you want to build up a cloud like a, you know, this cloud's a little bit in the back there. Maybe you use this other shadow here to create that, the forefront cloud. Right, and it's all about just doing a little details on the clouds. And the reason we don't reduce this right now is because we do want it to cover. Right? See how we're building up that yellow there? We want it to cover over the purple and over the brown, you know. We want it to just kind of take over and build up that bright area. See that? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Where'd you find that? As long as you don't get life insurance, he's good. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where he went. He's not listening to you. They're probably over there arguing right now. She's she's plotting right now. <laughs> no air cobra tonight. No, um, no but I just picked up the, this first airbrush, and that's the one we're using. I, could, I mean, it doesn't really matter which airbrush you use. Like I said, this whole painting is more about just the technique and, and laying the colors in. Um, 
Um, so it really doesn't matter what airbrush. I really like that Air Cobra though, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, MIG, hey! Hey, I'm on by MIG, hey! I like that airbrush, hey! Once you're satisfied with your clouds, right? Once you once you feel they look cloudy enough. Now at this point, as long as you've followed the instructions, <laughs> you don't want to add too much yellow. Again, just wherever it's going to be bright. You want to keep those lines nice and thin and tight. You know, keep them in close. And boom, we're done with the sky. Right, simple enough. We can peel off this tape. Right over the, right over where we put the, the first line. Bam. The same thing. Create a little dam here with your tape. Voilet. What's up, Dragonair? How's it going? Is this piece of commission or for practice? No, this is a, an actual how to airbrush stream. So, this is for all you guys to practice. Air Cobra mic for sure. Never use one. Yeah, yeah. So, if, you, if you've never tried the Air Cobra, I highly recommend It's a really nice airbrush. All right. So, I'm just going to take the yellow. We're going to rinse out the yellow. I'm trying to keep my train of thought and and, and uh, the questions in the chat. I'm just like, what? Oh. All right, so we're going to start with the bottom now, which is the water side. And we're going to keep this side pretty simple. And by simple, I, I just mean we're going to just do the water. We're not going to do any land or a beach or anything like that. We're just going to do, like you're looking out into the water. Maybe you're on a deck or something, you know, you don't really see the, the beach from where you're at. Something like that. And we're going to start again with some daylight blue. <laughs> Loving the tunes, right on. Uh, what's a fish say when he runs into a wall? Oh no. I don't know, what does the fish say when he runs into a wall? That's... Sounds like trouble. <laughs> so we're gonna mix up our daylight blue. Shake it up really good. What do you spray to rinse out your pink cup. So it's just a little bit of soapy water and then <clears throat> once I rinse out with the soapy water I just run through a few drops of reducer just you know put the reducer in spray it out make sure it's, it's uh, you know reducer in there and not soapy water and then I add my paint so it says damn <laughs> oh okay okay <laughs> We're going back to them preschool jokes. <laughs> All right, 
so I'm just gonna come back in. We have our yellow, right, coming down. I'm just gonna come in the sides, and we're just gonna stroke it. Just side to side, a nice line stroke in. Nothing too crazy right now, just stroke it in some lines. All right, and we do that first set kind of fuzzy, and then we're gonna come back in with a more sharper set. Just kind of stroke it in, side to side. And if they're a little squiggly, you see me using one hand, that's how you know it's okay if they're a little squiggle. It's actually gonna add to the effect here. So just do a nice little fuzzy set, and then we're gonna come back in and do a nice sharper set like this. So bring them all the way in to the halfway mark. If there's a little bit past the halfway mark, it's okay. You bring them all the way in. All right. Nothing too, too crazy. Just bring those in. Same thing on the other side. Okay, we're gonna start off with a nice fuzzy set. I'm just gonna stroke it side by side, side to side, and all the way this way. What paint are you using? Oh no, that is the ultimate joke. <laughs> How much for an Air Cobra? Bought a neon nozzle disintegrated and airbrush cleaner creates. Um, what? Um, disintegrated in an airbrush cleaner? What? That's crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm listening but working. Oh, is that what we're calling it now? You, you and your wife are over there. Working, huh? <laughs> no, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, create text, dude. Yeah, Darren. <laughs> what do you spray over your art when using create text, like on your cars or panels? We spray clear coat. Uh, the type of clear coat is going to depend on the project and the budget. So, but uh, anything from a 2K clear to a house of colors like USC01, those kind of clears. Um, if you're looking for a good gallon of like cheap clear, I recommend the, the Wanda Base uh, 2K clear. That's that's okay clear for what it is. It's like a hundred dollars for a gallon. Um, you could clear probably like a whole car with a gallon, and um, yeah, it buffs out nice. And it lasts pretty good. That's what's on my Camaro, and it, it, Camaro still looks good. So. What's on, my, what's on this car back here, too? It's that Wanda base. Well, it's on most of it. The, the roof is the House, the House of Colors USC01 with the flake in it and stuff, so. But we'll probably end up, uh, wife's already talking about redoing it, but I don't know about redoing it, but we'll probably add on some more here soon to that car, so. Hey, Bill, where are you guys out of? Uh, what? If money is tight, great adversity. Yep, Jesus giving out good advice. I'm a grandpa, man, but I still got game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, age got nothing to do with it, man. Age got nothing to do with it. All right, so we're going to take our uh, daylight blue that's left, which is just a few drips. And uh, yeah, just gonna rinse that out. We don't even have to rinse it out because we're just gonna throw Thalo Blue over it, which is gonna completely overtake. It's just, there's nothing in there, right? So just gonna take some Thalo Blue. <laughs> uh, where are you guys located? What, like what state are you guys in? 
I don't know why that popped in my head, but I don't know. Maybe maybe collab might be in the works if you guys are close enough. I don't know. Go and visit. Maybe help you work on your house. How's how the house coming along? We're waiting for the carpet guy to come install, man. Uh, these carpet people are the suck. Not gonna lie. Like, yeah, we've been waiting for the guy to come and measure. They gave us a date for the install, but then last time we picked the carpet, then they ended up selling the carpet, and oh man, bro, they, they, they are the suck. Uh, used to be cheaper in the US, it's not so widely available in the UK, I guess. Um, Nashville, yo, you're in Tennessee? Well, that's a little farther than I thought, I think, but I know we'll have to think of some. Um, but yeah, we got the thalo glue loaded, and all I'm going to do is bring it in firstly from the sides, right? So we're going to bring in again just some nice soft strokes coming in from the sides, nothing too wild. Build up that edge, make sure it goes all the way to blue, maybe even shade it just coming in. Let that dry for a sec. Same thing on the other side. Just bring in some nice little soft shading. Some strokes coming in. <laughs> Trying to refinance. Going to replace the roof and windows. Damn, man, you still got a lot of work to do on your house. Try the golden high flow or trident. Some say equals the createx. Yeah, um, if you're having trouble finding it, I would, uh, first off, I would start by messaging createx and just asking, um, you know, where in your particular country it's available. Because it might be that it's available somewhere like at an art store that's not, you know, there's a lot of places that are art stores that don't specialize in airbrushing but they will have airbrush stuff available. So like here in Colorado, there's like Hobby Lobby, right? You can go, obviously that's the main place that's available. Everybody knows about Hobby Lobby. But then there's like Meiningers. There's Meiningers is an art store, but they have a wider selection of paint than Hobby Lobby does. They have way more Createx available. Um, but you wouldn't ever know that unless you've been in that store. Um, so that's kind of the whole thing where it might be available, it's just, obscure to you you just can't find it but if you ask createx if you just send them an email um, and you just say hey where can i find createx in spain or wherever country you're from um and then they'll be able to reply to you ow oh, cramp ouchie oh oh man oh cramp oh man jesus been sitting for too long oh man that is rough but yeah just go ahead and ask them oh it's like twitching now that's weird but um yeah all we're doing is coming in now with some nice little detailed strokes off the sides and you could even hit some in here not a whole lot but just you know just a little bit of hidden little waves coming in here you see how just just the, the right application of little squiggly lines in the right way can uh, produce some cool effects. And in this case, we're you know we're making waves without too much of an effort, just side to side strokes. And it's like you're looking out into that water there. Boom. Coming in the other side. Oh man. This just, you know, is to show you guys, you don't always have to do something super stenciled, super elaborate. Um, sometimes it's all about just having fun with it, just getting your finger control down. Just something I always try to promote is just getting your actual control of your finger down, your airbrush. 
And all you gotta do to get these fine lines like this is just make sure you stay nice and close and just pull back on that trigger until you see it, that line, that dot, and then just move. Right? As soon as you see it come out, just move side to side and then just release the trigger forward as you're moving side to side. Just pull it back and release as you're going side to side. but it's about 11 years old for as long as you're there. Right on, right on. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. There's nothing better than investing money into your house, to be honest, so. Can't argue with that. Eat bananas, Mike. I did buy the bananas today, too, so I will have a banana later. What's up, Easy? How's it going? For a black light. Oh, yeah, so another interesting way to do this would be to actually use fluorescent colors so I have a black light here and I can show you when we're done what this looks like with a black light but then I'll show you what the fluorescent colors look like and yeah they're, they're not <laughs> if you were to do this in fluorescence like say fluorescent purples fluorescent blue it's a fluorescent yellow and fluorescent orange oh man in a black light this thing would just be glowing We can take a look at it with a black light if you want. too crazy we have our water right nothing too crazy I said it's just some regular basic water we can peel off our tape and voila you have your ocean sunset now from here I'm gonna take a little bit of black and we're gonna do just some little little touches you can add that'll really add in to the whole effect and the look here of your beach scene. So we're gonna mix up some black. Maybe we'll throw in some white as well, but we'll start with some black. Black light and UV light are the same. Yeah. What's up, Jose? How's it going? What's up, William Klein? And cramps. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, my God, eight tracks. So I never actually owned any 8-tracks, but uh, I remember having to put them in my dad's stereo when I was a kid, for sure. But then it was like cassettes came in right away, so. But I do remember using 8-tracks and having to push them into the slot, and yeah. Yeah! Uh, black. I was like, what am I doing? What's up, Pickles? Right, so we got all this in there. Looks pretty good, right? You're probably really excited. And if you made it that far, you wanna stop, by all means, because this next step, if you're, if you're not careful, could mess it all up. So all I'm doing is mixing up some black, reduced it just about 10%, normal reduction. I 
I also saw Star Wars in theaters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Air, did you use the rolling paper? What? Oh, airspace. This is looking kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. So, all we're gonna do now, right? Say we want to grow a bush out of here, like maybe the bush, the silhouette of the bush. So all we're gonna do is take some dagger strokes, and we're gonna kind of give them a little curve at the end, right? Just a little dagger stroke. You see that little little curve? And we're just gonna put a few of them going up high, like that. Boom. Then we're just gonna take some dagger strokes from the bottom. And we're just gonna bring them in. So our little bush is growing on the side over here. too crazy now on the tip of these bushes you want just like a little little feather so you just come in close damn so you're nothing too crazy right that's one quick little effect you could do with the black to just give it some flair um, now say we want to add some birds right so you want to add some birds kind of flying around you're gonna get in close. And you're gonna have to do different sizes because that's the way it looks the best. So maybe we'll do one. And all we're gonna do is just two little dagger strokes. One to one side and one to one the other way. So kind of one that way. And one that way. Yeah. Now maybe the next one is a little closer and his wings are maybe a little bit. And then maybe we got one way back here. We're just he's kind of trailing behind him. We're just gonna just just a little thing like that. That's it. You don't want to overdo it with anything like that. Just a little bird. That's it. Simple stuff. All right. That's another little effect you could add real quick with the black. Then we could add say we want to add a boat over here, right? Just a little sailing boat. So I, I hope you know what a sailing boat looks like, but what we're gonna do is just a little U. Kinda like you're almost doing like the Amazon Prime logo or something, right? <laughs> uh, I might have been influenced with rolling paper in the late, later 70s. Hey, I'm still influenced by rolling paper, man. What are you trying to say? <laughs> uh, in Chicago, there was acid, coke, MJ, all sorts of stuff everywhere you turned. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, drugs. Oh, man, drugs. All right, so we have this thing. We're maybe going to just add a little... That's maybe like a little deck area back here. We're going to bring up... Just one main sail pole. I don't know what it's called, right? <laughs> and then maybe we just add one sail. Damn. But look, here underneath him, one thing we're going to do, we're just going to take some squiggly lines like this. You can kind of build up the reflection of that boat right there. Simple little thing you could do. Now we're going to take, right, our cutouts. We still have them. Line it up right where you, where you have it. We're going to flip it over on the other side. Line it up. And all we're going to do is just really quick, just a real quick little shadow on there. Bam. Now you have the reflection of the mountains on the water. Quick little tip, what's that, like number four or five? I'm gonna do the other side right, obviously. Just 
just really light, really lightly, a little shade of black. Damn. All right. Now, so then we're gonna bring in, like, maybe one a palm tree, maybe two palm trees over on this side. Right. So let me, let me see. You guys can see. Right, so we want a palm tree over on this side coming up. We want him to kind of come up on here, and it's okay if he blocks up some of this. But all we gotta do is bring up a line. We want it to be nice and dark, so. palms we're gonna do one two three and four right and we got those lines all we're gonna do is bring dagger strokes down from those lines so we're gonna kind of almost facing towards the point so starting here just bringing dagger strokes around Same thing on this one. Just some nice little dagger strokes. <laughs> Trying to drive and pay attention is rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make sure you make sure you're driving, man. You can always watch it again. Right, and you see how I did those all kind of going down, and then right off the center here, we're just gonna bring off some dagger strokes. This is like those, uh, you know, how they build up the old palms underneath where they're just dangling. There you go, we got one there. Maybe we're gonna build up another one right over here. This is a smaller guy right here. This is a smaller guy right here, that's what she said. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, whoa. Whoa, what did I miss? four years older than me oh my gosh she was born with one leg shorter than the other so she was in and out of hospitals a lot <laughs> oh my gosh wow smoking weed in the hospital huh Okay, Doc, what's ironic about a disabled toilet? It's the only one big enough to run around in. Oh my, wow, okay. <laughs> all right, so just getting this all in there. pretty good we could add some white should we add some white I don't even think it needs the white to be honest with you it looks really good just like that you just throw their name on it right there boom right you know you just throw their name right here make it say skull squad bam be done that's pretty much it I mean there ain't anything else I can say about this uh, we went through it we built it up color by color you get a nice little effect of the you know sun coming down on the water 
the water we built that up nice and easy the clouds the highlights you got the mountains in the back you know kind of in there and you're just relaxing on your beach watching the sun go down kind of where we all wish we would be sometimes you know <sighs> but anyway guys I uh, hope you guys like that I hope you guys uh, get a good exercise out of it um, if you want to tag me on social media or stuff like that go ahead go ahead and tag us uh, let us know how you did um, and yeah that'll be it for today um, we'll come back in a few days we'll have another how to airbrush stream um, and yeah we're gonna get a little more creative on the next one um, so we, we kind of have uh, it's gonna be a whale but the background on it it's not gonna be the ocean so keep an eye out for that that'll, that'll be coming up next um, and yeah thank you guys all for hanging out in the chat today Bill with his stories uh, was always pretty good all the Skull Squad members with your nice Skull Squad names I love you guys Stephen Ward James Paul T Paul uh, who else was in the Skull Squad today that came through? Uh, we had Trevor S. Trevor. Trevor, Paul Tuchala, James Melton, uh, Stephen Ward, David Flory was in here too. All you guys that are members of the Skull Squad, thank you, thank you again for, for dropping in. I uh, will remind you guys again, in case you missed it the first time, the Skull Squad shirt pre-orders are now live. Make sure you go and you place your order in, because once the orders are closed, that's it. You won't be able to get the shirt anymore. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make it available again like, ever. Um, so yeah, make sure you can get yours. I worked on that design really hard just for you guys, so you guys could have a nice shirt. <laughs> this is all the reason I did it. No, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, make sure you get your shirt uh, order in. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you practice, get your practice in. You're gonna need it for the next one. I'll tell you right now. So uh, yeah, have a good night, everybody. And we'll see you later. Later, later, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs>